I have a, I believe it's a 2019 Amazon Fire tablet. I got it for under 20 bucks. I needed it for a project. I'm going to use it to build a mini arcade. For the most part, I do not recommend buying these. It used to be you can get them at a good price and they were easy to root and uh, you could remove all the Amazon stuff. Well, uh, they've become harder to root. I think you can still do it physically if you take apart the device, but the software root does not seem to work anymore. And they've locked down the devices even more than they used to be. Used to be even if you didn't root it, you could at least disable all the Amazon stuff and you could you know, replace the launcher and all that. They've made it a lot harder. Uh, you can install other launchers like I have Lawn Chair here. Uh, but if I hit this button here, it brings me back to the Amazon launcher. There's a program called that's a hijacker that hijacks that button. But Amazon, if you, if you do any updates, it sees that and goes, oh, we don't like that. And it, it removes it. So uh, I do have it set that if I power it off or I tap the power button, when I turn the screen back on, I have a program that relaunches Launch Air. But if I was to click this button, it would always bring me back to here. So I kind of want to get rid of this navigation bar. Uh, and uh, the way I would figure out how to do that is using ADB shell. So you have to have ADB enabled. And I'm going to use WM, which I'm assuming is Window Manager. And I'm going to overscan. And then you have coordinates here. Now watch this last one. If I move it, let's say 10, watch the navigation bar on the device down here. Or I'll move it up 10. There you go. You see it moved up a little bit. If I move it up 50, it moves up even further. Well, the thing is you can go negative as well. Let's go negative 10. Oh, it's low. And now it's lower. And now it's lower. And if we go about 50, that navigation bar is off the screen. And it will stay off the screen even after a reboot. Uh, you know, the only issue with this is if you were to open up an application, it's uh, kind of hard to get out of the application now. Uh, you can pull down this and you can click, like I have this on launch, uh, launch on boot, which is how I can get back to my launcher here. Uh, but you don't have the navigation bars there anymore. But I wanted to show this. This actually does not work on newer versions of Android. I can't get this to work on my phones. Um, and from what I've read, a lot of people have realized that since Android 11, I want to say, uh, this has not worked. And that's why I've been messing with the screen resolutions in previous videos, trying to find something comparable, uh, just in case I needed to do this on a device. And of course, we are moving this last number. If we were to change this number, let's go negative 50. Watch the clock up here in the top left when, oh, not negative 500, negative 50. Hit enter, and you can see it actually moved to the left. Let's make it negative 10 instead, uh, and we'll move it a little bit further just so you can see how it's moving off the side of the screen. Basically, we're not changing the screen resolution, but we're saying that things are allowed to go outside of the screen resolution. Um, let's go ahead, and of course, you can always set everything back if you just set it to 0, 0, 0, 0. Uh, if we were to change this number, oh, screen just went off. My fault. I should have been touching it. <laughs> uh, you can see now there's a gap at the begin at the top here. So let's go ahead and go 50, and you can see we've moved everything down. Let's go ahead and get back to our launcher here, uh, and we can go negative 50 if we want that that uh, bar at the top with the clock and everything to go off the screen. We can do that, and of course if we can go the other way and start pushing things in from the right. Uh, let's do 20, and we can also go negative, and now it's going to go off the screen the other way. I really don't know much use for this. Um, I mean, overscan is usually for, like, if you're using a television that has a border and things are getting clipped or cropped, you can adjust where the viewable area is. Um, so maybe if you put an Android device in some sort of case and the case is being covered around the edges, you can squish things in. So that's the main use for something like this. Like I said, I was trying to use it for uh, hiding the navigation bar at the bottom. Uh, and it, although it does hide it to where you can't click on it, basically disabling it, uh, it kind of makes it hard to navigate through your system. And putting a different navigation bar in there, which I have tried, uh, still doesn't allow you to change the launcher because it uses whatever the default launcher is. Although someone could write something and we can get rid of that here and still be running in the background, but it's hidden. Anyway, this is just something I've been playing with. I thought I would share with you so that you guys maybe can um, come up with some ideas. Again, I do not recommend these Amazon Fire tablets anymore. Again, at one point, you could buy them real cheap and strip it of all the Amazon stuff, but they have really, really, really locked them down. Um, but you're still able to do certain things. So even, even the worst day on a extremely locked down Android device is still better than the best day on an iOS device uh, because I wouldn't even have this option there. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. 
And as always, I hope that you have a great day.